So welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew. And I'm Tiffany. And you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So on today's episode, it's the first official big chicken coop clean out yeah. since uh, I built this a few months ago. By the way, it's been a very popular video on the channel. And I purpose built this chicken coop for ease of cleaning from the drop down door that we can scrape everything straight into a tractor bucket, haul it off to our compost pile, the removable nesting box pieces. I tried to really think ahead for clean out and I'm gonna show you some of that stuff today. So to give you all a quick update, cause everybody's been asking about the chickens. We had an issue recently with our chickens eating eggs. However, <laughs> that happened for what? Several, four or five days, I'm guessing. So yeah. we made the video and we haven't had them eat an egg since. So I don't know what's going on, but we're still gonna get some. You're gonna hear our rooster today too, but we're still gonna get some hard fake eggs. A lot of people have said to do that, but I just opened up the nesting box and lo and behold, three eggs waiting on us. None of them are That's cracked. That's kind of a record this week. That is. We've only been getting like one egg a day. Here yeah, I know. Yeah. It's been so unbelievably yeah. hot and crazy, but two good size eggs, one small one that's mm -hmm. kind of normal, but right. here lately, one is all we've been getting. We've only got three laying hens, but we got several babies in here as you're about to see that, you know, bunch of stinky butts making a mess right here. That's what we got to clean out yeah, today. Yeah, got it pretty dirty in here. Yeah, so we should get quite a few more laying hens here before long. We're just waiting on them to grow up a little longer and start laying eggs for us. So that's what today's about. We're gonna do the full coop clean out, see how the birds are gonna like it because we don't have nowhere to let them go. We don't free range them. So this is gonna be interesting trying to rake and clean all this mess out with chickens freaking out and going everywhere. <laughs> I got my chicken kickers here. These are nice and comfortable. Yeah. Be a preen, keep the rooster off of me. <laughs> and probably very hot today too, yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah, very hot. <laughs> it is unbelievably hot down yeah. here in Florida. So I'm already pouring sweat. It's time for us to dive in. Let's get to work, clean all this out. I am hoping this cleans out as quick and easy as I designed it to do. We got to go all the way from the floor up because there is a bunch of butts pooping all in this thing right now. <laughs> We're eventually going to cull some roosters and have a little less mess going on in here. All right, so as y'all can see, very dirty in here. It's just what's going to happen. All their bedding is pretty much gone. They love to scratch everything up. Yes, we hear you. And here they are in the corner, all trying to figure out what is going on in here today. All right, so how I designed this coop is with some latches right here that you can open up. And I've got a main door that opens up for, you know, getting inside, accessing, looking at the chicken eggs and doing some basic clean out. This other side I've also got designed where you can take a few screws out, remove the ramp and it's on hinges so we can open it up completely to do a full clean out. All right, so here is the inside of the coop. Those doors make it so nice and easy to get in here. And these dividers are removable. We're gonna take them out in just a second so we can sweep straight into the tractor bucket itself. We've also got to get up here and clean up this ledge. You can see they like to perch on it a lot. And this perch is also removable, although it does not look dirty. Otherwise I'd take it outside and pressure wash it. All right, so let's go ahead and remove these nesting box dividers. Now you can see I have left adequate room here to use a push broom and push all this right out into the tractor bucket. And I'm thinking this garden hoe will be perfect for getting up here and raking all that poop and other stuff down. And when dealing with this stuff, I recommend a respirator. All right, so that worked out slick. I love this design right here. I was able to just sweep it right out into the tractor bucket. So now all that manure and brown compost, straw, shavings, everything else that we have in there. Well, it'll go great down in our compost pile and we'll just continue to build that out. So Tiffany's gonna haul that down there and I am gonna go ahead and start raking and cleaning out the coop. We'll just pull the tractor right back up to the door and shovel everything right back into the bucket.
right, so what we have right here is a pile of purchased compost. It's already ready to go, about a three yard scoop. And I knew I wanted that as kind of my starter for my next compost pile. So now that we have good nitrogen rich compost, I'll just continue to mix all of this dead stuff in from wood chips to straw. Now we've got chicken manure all in this and we'll just build on top of this pile right here that's already technically started for us. All right, so what I did is just made a hole in the center of the pile, and I'm just gonna scoop up all this fresh stuff, bury it in the middle, and let it do its thing. getting clean sand we have the perfect sand that washes down our road and we like to do this to give the birds a dust bath yes they can dig back all the shavings in there and get to other dirt but they really do seem to prefer this and well we can keep the sand constantly fresh for them to dust keep bugs and mites and other things like that off of them Now, if there's one thing I've learned with putting out shavings, don't waste your time spreading them out. I just throw them in clumps. The chickens love, absolutely love, to come scratch all the clumps up. They're already doing it over there right now. So throw it in big wads, they'll spread it out for you. All right, these chickens have a bad habit of pulling all the straw out. So my plan is next time I get my table saw out for another project, I'm going to rip down a piece of board that's going to go all the way across the front of these boxes. It'll be like a two inch lip and that'll keep them from hopefully pulling all this straw out. Look what I found. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Our friend the armadillo has now dug all the way underneath the chicken coop. How about that? Yet another hole. To plug and take care of all right so the other thing that i need to do before we wrap this job up you see this wire right here we brought it out from underneath 
the chicken coop so animals couldn't dig it out. And we buried it in dirt. Problem is we get hard rains and it washes it away because it's on a slope. So I think the smart thing to do instead of just wasting time with dirt, I'll go get a couple bucketfuls of rock and we'll put rock all along this wire right here to keep it mushed down, buried, and deter animals from trying to dig into the coop itself. So here's our nesting boxes all packed in. We've got a rock down here holding the wire in. The inside is nice and fresh and clean now. Everything's been hosed down, raked out. Chickens should be nice and happy. They're already scratching holes everywhere and doing what chickens do. And since they cooperated so well, Tiffany's gonna give them a little treat here. Y'all did good. You ready for your treat? Yeah. Y'all go get them worms. All right, well, I think that wraps this up. We've got this place looking a whole lot better. We've got the rock down to hold the wire to make things nice and safe. The chicken coop is completely cleaned out. Smelling good. It is smelling good. We are burning the heck up. I think yeah. we got a pool in our future. It oh, is yeah. so miserable hot here. <laughs> Everything worked out just how I wanted it to. As far as the chicken coop clean out design, that worked beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just sweep it right out, rake the corners out with a hoe. I mean, it worked out awesome. I'm very pleased with the design of this coop. Of course, you got to get in there and manually rake up and shovel out this stuff from the inside. So now that adds a little more to our compost pile, we can go many more months before we need to do this again. We'll probably realistically do this two to three times a year because we're about to have four less chickens in here once we cull some roosters out. And I think with us having six or seven hens, that is more than enough for uh, you know our daily needs for eggs. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.